Hi, Water Science Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tara Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at who is it that is constantly thinking about you. We want to see who's got you on their mind lately. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see who is it that's been doing a lot of thinking about you here. Okay, so who's got you on their mind lately? Whoever it is that's been doing this thinking about you, I feel like you have been dominating a lot of their mental space. So they do have you running through their mind a lot. They do think about you a lot, but to me it feels like there's some sort of invis invisible barrier that's preventing this person from coming forward. It could be a secret admirer. It could be someone that you work with it could be someone who is in your close circle of friends someone who is a connecting energy but it feels like this person is doing so much thinking about you but i don't see them taking any action here in fact if anything i feel like the fact that the moon card and the magician has made an appearance here indicates to me that the situation isn't exactly what it seems so yes this is someone who's very attracted to you and i feel like this is someone who's very interested in you so they're not just sexually attracted uh, in you they're interested in getting to know you but there is something here that holds them back they could be someone who isn't necessarily uh, communicating with you. They may be someone who is intimidated by your presence, by your energy. Maybe this person is scared to make a move or is scared to take a risk because they're scared to jeopardize your friendship or they're scared of opening up and telling you how they feel. They could also fear rejection. They could have in insecurity as well. It feels like there's some sort of inability to manifest this connection or manifest something here because there's I feel like there's insecurity here in their energy when it comes to them you know wanting to make a move here or wanting to reach out and contact you um, I feel like there's two energies though I feel like there is a past energy here who still does a lot of thinking about you. I feel like this is someone whom you haven't had any contact or communication with recently. This is someone who I feel like has either gone ghost mode or has went into hermit mode with you. In, like they've gone into hermit mode. This is someone who might have um, really stopped communication or just pulled away abruptly. So this is why I'm getting an energy of ghosting or pulling away or just someone who's fallen off your radar here. You've had a lot of contact or a lot of communication with this person at a, at a specific or at a particular point in time, but then they've just stopped communicating. Um, this person feels very... They feel like they've let you down and they feel like they've kind of robbed themselves of the opportunity to get to know you. I feel like this person pulled away because there is some fears or insecurities in their energy. And I feel like... The reason why they sort of just pulled away abruptly is because they may have started to catch real feelings for you or this is when this person noticed that hey this is actually this has a lot of potential and their pulling away was really a self-sabotaging behavior okay so um, it feels like they were scared okay their current state of emotions were fear were anxiety which led to this 
wrong and reckless decision to just stop communication. I feel like this is someone who still thinks about you, but I feel like they're scared to reach out and they're scared to contact you because they're, um, you know, they left things really awkwardly between the two of you. They ended things on a really uncomfortable note and they feel like if they do communicate, well, what do they say to you? You know, this is someone who's ghosted you. This is someone who didn't even, you know, so much as offer you explanation as to why the communication stopped. So they feel a little bit bad about just appearing out of the blue and waltzing back into your life as if nothing has happened. They feel like you potentially might reject them. They feel like you potentially might call them out and hold them accountable. And that would mean that they also have to hold themselves accountable in the process. But it feels like someone is doing so much thinking about you. But And there's been many times when this past energy has actually been wanting to connect with you. They've actually even put together a text message or they've um, stared at your number in their phone for quite some time wanting to call you up or wanting to send that text message but there was always that nagging feeling that kind of stopped them that prevented them from doing this and it's only because they fear your reaction or they're not necessarily sure what to say to you or if things um if things would be okay between the two of you if they do just sort of decide to reconnect with you out of the blue now Oh, sorry about the noise. Now, I did mention that there is a second energy here who's thinking about you, but to me, it feels like this is someone whom either this person is attached and is in a relationship with someone else, but there's definitely an attraction there. There's de This person is definitely romantically interested in you. They're definitely wanting to get to know you, and I feel like this person does a lot of thinking about you. I feel like there is quite a chemistry that two of you share or an energy that you share, and I feel like you sense it. Now, you think about this person a lot as well, and I feel like a lot of you know who, you know, you know who I'm talking about as I do this reading, because you're wanting to spark something too, but at the same time, I don't see you making any moves either, because I feel like there's a fee that kind of paralyzes you and it paralyzes them, because maybe this is someone who is in your workplace and they're scared to jeopardize their position. They're scared to jeopardize their integrity. Um, maybe this is someone who is attached to someone else and they don't, you know, they're scared to jeopardize the relationship. I feel like there's a fee that holds them back. So instead, they spend their time thinking about you. They feel like the two of you would be very compatible. They feel like they wish they had actually met you a lot sooner in life, actually. And I feel like this person does a lot of fantasizing about you too. Okay, this is someone very attracted to you. They actually, yeah, they, um, they have, they have you on their mind a lot here. If they could, they definitely do want to share um, something very. They do want to share. I'm seeing uh, an emotional message of some sort, or they want to open themselves up. Um, even you'll notice with their body language, whenever they're around you, if you just take a moment to sort of um, look at their body next time when they're around you, they're very open with you, okay? They always try and um, move closer to you. Um, it's a very open uh, body language that they have towards you. This is someone who does want to get to know you, but I feel like it's a fee... Um, it's a fee or it's anxiety that paralyzes them, that prevents them from moving forward. There's a lot of uncertainty. They're scared that if they do make a move or if they do say something, they're scared that you might not necessarily reciprocate. You might reject them or they might potentially jeopardize things between the two of you, your friendship or their you know position at work. So definitely a fear of some sort is dictating this person's energy and it's preventing them really and it's preventing you from manifesting something between the two of you because there's this it, instead of doing anything about it I feel like the both of you sort of spend your time thinking about one another here and I feel like you feel it as well because I feel like it's either a psychic connection that I'm picking up here or th this person is on your mind a lot guys as well um all right guys and these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing 
For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, bye for now.